Okay, hello, welcome back. This is BioRock. It's basically a, a better version of the experimental thing that we turned out a few months ago called BioHome Coral. That was in little thin plates. Let me just show you. That was it. It was nowhere near as varied as this stuff. Now later in this video I may make a few mistakes and actually call this Biohome Coral. The name going forward will be Bio Rock because it is basically a man-made rock. It's made from 100% natural materials. It provides a perfect surface area for bacteria to colonise outside and inside. If you've got a marine tank it's perfect for corals to adhere to and grow on here. You've basically got something that works better than live rock but with none of the risks you're not going to bring any pests in this is totally sterile a nation of different forms that it comes in different colors that are available another huge benefit of it is that it only weighs about 50 percent of the weight of a rock you'd say dig out of your garden or something so it's not going to add masses of weight to your aquarium and i know for some of you guys out there who have your aquariums in upstairs room, that is a real concern. <laughs> now this is going to come in two different weight boxes. So we're going to have five kilos, which is 10, oh God, what's, is that 11 pounds? Yes, that's 11 pounds for you guys in the US, or they're going to come in 10 kilos, which is 22 pounds. And just for reference, that is a five kilo box. Every piece is individually wrapped, in fact it's double wrapped, so that it can't get smashed up in transit. So that's a 5 kilo box, obviously there's another box which is the 10 kilo box, which is a little bit bigger. But they're packaged exactly the same way. There you go, that's one of the flatter pieces. And that's arrived in good condition. As you can see, it looks a lot more natural now. It basically just looks like natural volcanic rock that's just been farted out of a volcano and made its way into the sea and kind of settled in these shapes, you know? And this structure you see before you there is made up of five kilos of the media, well, uh, of the biohome coral rock. And every one is different. Quick rearrange sees a totally different effect. And as you can see, we can do it in various colours as well. So all sorts of shapes and all sorts of colours. This one is exactly the same mix as the Biohome Ultimate, hence it's got like an orangey red colour. That one is exactly the same mix as the Biohome Ultra, so it's grey. This one is exactly the same mix as the Biohome Ultimate Marine, so this one's got the trace elements in specific to the marine bacteria. And that one is like a, an earthy sort of browny colour. And then we've got one which is made from the mix which is uh, it's used to make the bio gravel. So that one's similar to this but it has like a, well, I don't know, more like a, a grey, purpley, browny sort of appearance. It's quite a, a funny shade but it does look very natural. You've seen the setup with the grey. I've got five kilos here of the red and also five kilos of the brown. So I'll do another little arrangement and bring you back in for a look. But first we'll just have a close up on those rocks and the colours. And Michael was good enough to cut this one in half with a saw. So you can have a look in there at the structure. And in a minute I'll show you just how porous this is.
There you go, a very quick setup with the red version. And that's a bigger setup with the brown version. So there you go, you've seen how easy it is to set it up and get it looking pretty good inside a tank. I'm going to take this bit, it's been cut in half, and dip it in blue dye so you can see just how porous this stuff is. As you can see it's absolutely bone dry, so it should wick the water into it very well and obviously if the water gets right inside the structure the water will carry nutrients to the bacteria which will colonize every piece of every piece of this bio rock. Obviously this is filmed in real time so there's no shenanigans. See where it's been cut with a still saw. I'm just going to dip the tip in here. You should be able to see the dye going up. It's making its way up there quite well. Yeah, I suppose I really should be, be talking whilst it's doing this, just so you can see that there's no speed ups or whatever. And yes, my hand is shaking a little bit because <laughs> it's absolutely freezing in this back room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the, the water is colonizing this bit of rock quite well. Let's have a look around the corner. That's wet most of the way up. How's this side doing? Yep, that's getting there as well. Just slowly spreading through. So you've got full transit of water through the structure of this rock. And the transit of the water is very slow. So that leads to the conditions inside the rock or indeed inside the biohome media in all its various forms, it renders it capable of harboring a hell of a lot of anaerobic bacteria in a perfectly safe environment. It's not like a deep sand bed where you need to disturb it now and again to stop any toxins building up. That just doesn't happen with this rock or with the biohome media. Yeah, I would say that's pretty much done now. There's a little bit that it hasn't got to yet. Just leave them standing there. And I'm sure it'll get up there. It is getting up there. You can see it's just reducing that little space as we speak. That's pretty much it. Yep, and now that's got a lot more weight to it. And here's the other half to that piece which was cut with the saw. Again, just dunk them in, water flies up. Obviously when it's immersed in water, it it gets water right into the core of it within seconds, you know. Perfectly porous. Now as far as the internal structures of various filter medias go, I actually did a video on that, oh man, maybe it's two or three years ago, where I used a small USB microscope and looked inside filter media. That is one of the most important videos that I've ever done. And it's got a close-up of, well, it was the Biohome Ultra. So it's exactly the same structure 
is this. I'll link to that video in the video description. In that video, I think you can see two or three different types of the biohome. There's some ceramic rings, that cheap Chinese stuff. There's some pumice. It's actually good quality pumice. And the difference between the internal structures of all the different type of media is massive. But it's something that people just don't ever look into. I mean, I haven't seen one other YouTube channel just take a little USB microscope, which costs pennies, and have a look at the media that they're claiming is the best stuff ever. If they did, they would get a shock, and it would expose that it's probably scrap. This is the real deal, you know? I wouldn't, well, I wouldn't be involved with it if it wasn't. It's basically nature just remoulded. And before I go, I should really just add another huge positive point to this rock, this bio rock. And that is that you're not, you're not funding the destruction of natural marine environments when you buy this. It's basically just made from various particles of sand, which is quartz sand, uh, powdered glass, a few trace elements, and binding agents, which are all natural. A lot of it's recycled as well. A lot of it is actually recycled glass. The powdered glass that's used, you know, to, to fuse the little bits together is from recycling plants. So when you buy this, not only are you not destroying natural marine environments, which Perversely, you're trying to create in your tank, but you're also supporting recycling plants in this country. So it's a win-win, really. You know, you've got something that is perfect for the environment that you're creating. Supports aerobic and anaerobic bacteria. Basically, it does the job of live rock, and it'll function for years in a safe environment. Corals will grow on it, or if you've got a freshwater tank java moss will just colonize this oh actually tell you what talking of uh, plants colonizing this material i've been experimenting with some um oh god not sprouting seeds what, what do you call them um micro green seeds and michael was good enough to make me a couple of plates up made of the biohome material so we'll go down to the greenhouse and i'll show you that but if anybody's not interested in that I'll just say that this will very soon be available on the Filter Pro website. Filter Pro website is linked to in the video description and in the pinned comment. And if you've got good eyesight, you'll probably be able to read that behind me. And it also has links to all the different main distributors in the world. They're the ones to use because you'll get the best prices from them. So all the flags at the top of every page on the Filter Pro site is a direct link to those distributors so please use your local distributor <laughs> yeah i realize i've probably just given away 10 15 percent of my trade there but I'd, I'd rather you guys just got a good deal on the media and also now on the bio rock thanks for watching i'll see you next time okay so that's red clover seed which i just scattered on top of the bio home plate there <laughs> you can see how well that's grown on there <laughs> that's basically the effect you're going to get in a tropical aquarium with your java mod